Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and it's Tuesday, so that means it's time for Lightroom Tuesday. Last week we talked about keywords and this week we're going to talk about even more stuff about keywords, just to so that the videos aren't too long and are more than consumable. Folks, I'm carrying on from some of the stuff that was asked in comments from last week's video on keywords. I'm just going to cover some of those topics as well. Hopefully the video won't be too long as I pop through a few little bits and pieces more about keywords than we did with keyword sets last week and the keyword list. So here I have a bunch of images that I've shot of me practicing with the tube. Now this was before I started using bulb mode to fire. I was just using a self timer because of the distance, but I managed to set up a radio trigger that allowed me to do the bulb on and the bulb off. So it allowed me to actually get all the shapes and stuff I wanted. I still got some really cool shapes as I was practicing it. Um, but I want to have keywords with these and there's absolutely no keywords at all. So I'm actually just going to do it on this first one originally just to show you some concepts with it. So the first thing I was asked about was keyword hierarchies and that is that you can have uh, keywords within keywords. And you can do that you can do that by dragging stuff which I'll do in a second. But first I'm actually going to create one. And the way you do it to put it in and you can enter this uh, on import as well is that you put in the top uh, of the hierarchy first so let's say I'm going to say put in light painting which I already have in as one and I'm now going to create a pipe okay so I use the pipe as a symbol to say this is our separator and I'm going to go tube light and I'm going to enter this so we can see that because I've entered keywords here, it's all disappeared and only tube light appears as the keywords. And if I go keywords and containing keywords, we can see that it has light painting and tube light. So I'll enter keywords. And now if I come down here and I go light painting, light painting, and we can see here that we have light painting and under that we have tube light. So we can see that we've created a hierarchy there. If we wanted to put something into it, um, because of the fact that it's allowing us to do a few things. If I do that and have orbs in there as well, hopefully orbs will show up fairly low. So I can actually grab orbs. And I can drag orbs into light painting here. So now I have orbs. If I put in orbs, light painting will show up as well. Okay, so that is just the basics of creating a hierarchy. Now you can have a hierarchy to any depth as well. Uh, while my list is fairly flat, let's say if I stick in Europe here, for example, uh, in the list. Oh, we should have come up. With, well, if it'll come up if I spell it correctly. So we can see here we would have, you know, these are reversed now because they were done with an old form. So I have to go back and actually fix those. But we can see uh, because I think in Lightroom four or five, and um, it swapped how it did them. That's why I use the pipe instead of you can use the greater than symbol as well or the less than symbol but I don't do it that way anymore. I just use the pipe because then it's it's more straightforward. So as you can see, that's a hierarchy. So you can have hierarchies as deep as you want them to be. Uh, while we're talking about what's going on here with this, let's, for example, say here, um, click on this now and I'll come out here a second for a second. I'm just scrolling up really quickly here. So I could have this put in as a tube light, for example. So let me just click on tube light in the keyword suggestions here and keywords and uh, containing keywords. As you can see, it automatically puts in the container as well. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to type in tube again. Right. And if I right click on this, I can go edit this keyword. So in tube life, when you do edit, you've got a couple of options. So you've got include on exports. That means when this file exports, it will, the keyword will be within it. If you turn this off, you're essentially creating private keywords. So you can have a keyword that's only there for yourself. So you could say, for example, want a hierarchy of private keywords. And so you, you create the top one and then ones that are underneath it will usually will take from the parent, but you can set them up whatever way you want. And export containing keywords. So that means that if I export this and the word tube light is there, well then light painting will go out as well. And then we have export synonyms. So these are things that are similar to that. And um, so I could actually put in F L U or S tube um, guard, which is what it actually is, rather than an actual fluorescent tube. And um, so that way, just describing what it is. And um, I could put in gel lighting, for example, here, because they're nearly all gelled.
So these would go out as well, uh, be exported at the same time. Okay, if there, if you are tagging a person in it, then it, it'll become a person, you make it a person keyword. Um, so p a person keyword is a keyword that gets associated by using the, uh, the people and the face recognition. So in this case here, I'm not gonna apply that. So I'm just gonna click save. With the keyword sets, there was a couple of things I said. I told you you can hold down the numbers. So if you hold down the alt, then the numbers will come. But there is another thing you can do here. And if we look up at the keyword sets here, we can see that we have this option here for next keyword set. So that means that if I go alt or alter option zero, if we look here, we'll see that it's going to toggle between the sets. Okay, so that means that you get access to more than nine at a time by using that. So option one, two, three, four, five, we'll go through them as well. I'm hitting on the arrow key by accident there. All right, so that will let you go through them. If you hold down the shift key as well, it'll go in the reverse direction from what I remember. So outdoor photography and portrait, and that goes backwards by holding the shift key, okay? Because that isn't actually there in the shortcuts. Another question that we had was about the actual list. Now, as you can see, my list is fairly long and fairly flat, um, but I do have sets of stuff that is organized into hierarchies, but you can actually import and export lists and a little trick as well as if you're really, really worried about it, what you can do is you just take one blank image and you apply every keyword that you have to it. You can select the image and drag it to all of the keywords or, or select all the keywords and drag it to that one blank image. And then you export a catalog with just that blank image in it. And then you have a catalog that has all of the keywords in it already. And this is one way of doing it, but there are better ways. Now you can, one thing I haven't said about keywords is that you can physically drag a keyword. So I can drag a keyword here. And if I click on that image, that image will now have tube light there. So this one here has nothing on it, for example, at the moment. I can drag in there and then it will have it. And you can also do it the other way. You can drag an image onto it and add it that way as well. So that means that you could actually like shift click a selection and drag it on there and they will have that added. Okay. And then the same the other way as well. So let's just grab a few images and drag tube light onto that. And that kind of puts it on there as well. And um, there is also another thing that you can have here, which is uh, the painter. Okay, so the painter here, when you click on it, you can have something put it in. In this case here, you can have a drop uh, tube light. Okay. So enter tube light and so that will assign the keyword as I click. So you can do it with the painter. So you can spray over a whole series of images as well. And then that will paint it on as well. That way. So that has been a, just a little bit more stuff about keywords. Uh, oh yeah, no, I wanted to talk about lists for a second there. So let me just very, very quickly mention that you can, of course, come up to metadata here and export keywords. Okay. And you can also purge to unused keywords. So if you've got a keyword in the list that's not been used, you can delete it out of there altogether. If you click export keywords, it will allow you to export a text file uh, and that will have the keywords in it. So if I just click save here for a second, so we can see here, we have the list here and the ones that are in these, these are, we have the tab, those ones are lists. Now this one here, the action list is actually something that I actually downloaded and imported myself. But what you can do is you can actually import these keywords yourself as well. So if you create a list with the hierarchy already in it, you can go uh, metadata, import keywords, and that list will be imported. Now, obviously it'll be empty at that point and you will have to add images to it in using any of the methods that you've seen here. And um, so obviously don't use purged unused keywords on that or you will lose what's in your list. So folks, that has been a look at some of the additional stuff that there is about keywords inside Lightroom. If you have any questions or you think I've missed something that you want me to cover, please do leave something in the comments and I will come back on it. And um, if you need, if you have questions, please ask them. I do generally answer in the comments. Uh, I'm not some superstar photographer that, you know, has adulating fans that he's no time for. Uh, so I will do my best to answer stuff in the comments. Better to do it as soon as the video comes out because older videos, it gets harder and harder. Folks, thanks for taking time to watch this. And if you do like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks a million for watching and I will see you in the next video.